years and I'm sitting on under 300 subscribers. How do I feel about that? I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to another sit down video with myself, Zumkita. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, what's up fam? Thank you so much for deciding to click onto this video and watch it. So we're back with uh, we're back with sit down video number two. And like you saw the title of this video, we are talking about the fact that it has been three, four years and I'm sitting on under 300 subscribers. How do I feel about that? How do I feel about, did I just waste so much of my time? Do, did I just waste my life creating content? Because obviously we know that the only way that you make money on YouTube, well, not the only way, but you know, the main reason for a lot of creatives to start YouTube channels is to be able to start making money from YouTube as in you know, make it to your thousand subscribers and more so that you can, um, you know, be eligible to start making money on YouTube and also reach your 4,000 hours watch time. So the day we start with our channel, we're like, that's what we're trying to reach as soon as possible so that I can start making money um, from YouTube. So now with me, three years ago, I started this channel 2021 and we are now in 2024 and i am sitting on under 300 subscribers so clearly we're not making any money <laughs> we're not making no money from youtube at this very point we are not we're not making so how am i feel did do i feel like i just wasted so much time creating content for this particular channel so if you did watch, if you did watch my previous sit down, obviously you kind of know that I don't feel that I, I wasted time because obviously there's a lot of things that I did learn, right? There's a lot of things that I did learn uh, that just showing up, creating content has taught me like creating itself because I didn't know how to create and also just leaving my comfort zone which was just not being here in your face right now, <laughs> right? You know, I was very much comfortable not being in people's faces, but I had to leave, I had to learn to, to leave that shell. And thirdly, another thing I mentioned um, was that people's negative thoughts, YouTube has taught me, and just being on social media, um, it has taught me that they're, they're not very, they're not that important, <laughs> you know, they're not important in fact. And those negative thoughts that are just not necessary nor helpful but are there right so at first i was very scared um of of showing up because of being afraid that i'm now going to be reading these comments that are just not helpful in my life but then i had to learn to not care about those particular opinions and youtube has taught me um to keep myself accountable right to keep myself accountable if i don't show up the results that i get are because i did not show up i not anybody else nobody else to blame but myself you know these things if i was not here in the space i would not have learned so i am grateful and for that reason being the first reason no i don't feel like i've wasted my life <laughs> I don't feel like I've wasted, um, I don't feel like I've wasted my life and also just showing up authentically. I didn't know how to show up in the space as me when I was starting off and now I am becoming so comfortable just showing up as myself, um, completely me in this online space and I love it. It's so, so easy, um, just showing up as yourself. I, I feel like anywhere. But sometimes you don't show up as not being yourself on purpose. It's just that you don't know how how you feel like there's a certain 
way that a person should be showing up in order to actually attract an audience you feel like i need to be doing what the other girlies are doing i need to be showing up in that way in order for people to actually um be attracted to the content or to wanting to watch whatever whatever other reason to of the likes but then i learned that be yourself <laughs> just be you just show up be you and there's definitely people that are going to just simply like you without you trying to be anybody else but you you get what i mean so you know these lessons are huge <laughs> they're they're big lessons that's what i feel i feel like there are big lessons that I appreciate and I feel like if I had not started a channel, I wouldn't know this, right? I would not know this. I'd still be in my shell. I'd still be very much afraid of... <sighs> so, we get the point, right? We get it. So, that's number one. That's just point number one. I, I don't feel like I wasted my life for that one reason but let me give you a bit more reasons okay so apart from these lessons that i have learned like i said before we all start youtube with the goal of you know shortly making money from off the platform right so how do i feel about the fact that i am far from getting to the thousand subscribers getting to you know the point where i can actually start making money through this particular platform sure that does suck <laughs> i'm not going to sit here and say no you know it's it's okay well it does suck uh, because at the end of the day we don't want to be wasting time you know it would be nice to be making money from youtube at this point but the reality is that that is not happening but again remember i spoke about accountability that youtube is teaching me to be accountable right my subscribers here know that i'm working on self-discipline but maybe you're asking but what does that have to do with what we're talking about so discipline and consistency go very much hand in hand so if discipline is a struggle of mine obviously consistency is also a struggle of mine do you get where i'm going with this so from day one being here it has been a struggle showing up consistently. I mean, I have tried not to stop and to keep going, but showing up consistently um, is one thing that's very much important if you're trying to grow a brand, trying to grow a platform, trying to grow a channel, trying to... It's important to show up like you are in business. You can't show up when you feel like it. You get what I mean? So I have had times where I showed up when i felt like showing up and not showed up because we're here for business but then apart from consistency there's definitely other things that contribute to a person's growth and like i said when i started i didn't know anything eh, about growing a page about you know showing up as a business owner you know online and stuff so i had there's a lot of things that i just keep learning as i go and some easy to quickly get into and some not so easy because it's just difficult to get your head around and trying to align also trying to align these things with your life because you're also not trying to show up as somebody that you're not in this online space so show up and do things that normal you outside of this space wouldn't do <laughs> right so you really want to try and and make sure that you are showing up in a way that aligns with the person that you really are. Not convey, you know, a lifestyle that you're not living. Um, or just be a person that you're not. Do you get? But let's get into this a bit more. So what are these other things that I have learned and are continuing to learn that I feel do contribute to help? Um, people grow um on social media let's get into that a little bit so on the point where on the point of me keeping myself accountable i've noticed and i've learned and i'm learning a few things when it comes to social media and growing your page and all of that there's things that one needs to be doing or needs to learn to do in order to to grow right 
I'm not saying that when you do these things, um, it's like a guarantee that you are going to grow in the space. But I've just seen that when people do these things, their pages do um, grow. But I'm not saying a guarantee 100%. Who am I? <laughs> you know but i have definitely noticed that on social media whether it is that you are on instagram or here on youtube you need to know your story you need to know why you're here your why 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 are you here what are you doing here who is your target audience the kind of people that you want to be watching your channel who are they and why is it them you know this kind of content that you're creating it must be for a specific audience. These are the, the, these are the type of people that you want. Yeah, doesn't matter what kind of of um, doesn't matter what kind of content you are creating. Some people are creating content, you know, funny uh, videos, comedy, and whatever, and that's for that that audience, the people that want to watch videos to laugh, and it is people that are creating content for other business owners. Yeah, wanting to share information about business, some lifestyle, some beauty, some, you know, they have an audience. I, this beauty is for people that like beauty, you know. This cause for people, car channel about cause for people that like cause. You know, know your story why. Uh, you don't show up and try to do everything. Then it becomes confusing. Uh, what this what? This channel is about what exactly we don't get the storyline so know your story know your target um audience other things that you need to to know um type of of thumbnails that you need to to have on your videos um what do you call this thing baits also for the type of audience that you you want to attract i those things <sighs> Sana. <laughs> and I'm not speaking as someone that fully am doing all of this, but I've noticed that it's it's things that are very much important. You know, it's things that are very much important. I can't show up here and 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 do a whole bunch of things that just don't make sense. Every time you watch my video, I'm doing something completely different, or I'm talking about something completely talking about every single thing that ever interested me right but i need to know that my channel here i talk about this i talk about for instance here i talk about business i talk about my life as a content creator i talk about my discipline journey i do you know <laughs> we know but zimkita's channel is about her life as a content creator and it's about her discipline journey we're around about there and just bits and pieces of what she does in her life you know because she's a human being but she doesn't share every single thing that she has ever been interested in this world right but i'm not speaking as a person that is implementing every single thing that i know at this point i'm still learning how to how to do all of this i'm still learning how to to keep showing up in these ways that i can see and uh, make sense when i see other creators creating and i can see how implementing all of this actually plays a very much positive role um in their content creation career whatever so so like i said when i started here on youtube i had no idea what i'm doing zero no idea so i had to start you know watching what other people are doing from that time watching what other people are doing, trying these different things that other people were doing, seeing that, okay, she's doing that, it's working for her, he's doing that, it's working for him. But when I try it, I'm not exactly comfortable here having to change and, and try trying to find basically a space that I feel like now I am, I am comfortable and I can keep going with this. Um, for a very long time because it's a very comfortable place i have learned to be you know authentic i have learned to show up in a certain way you know now i'm like comfortable so all this time has basically been a trial and error error <laughs> right trial and error error because it has been me trying this thing because i heard of this seemed to be working and like 
you guys know, even this channel was never about this. When I started it, it was about me showcasing how I package my jewellery. It was never about my disciplined journey and sharing my life as a content creator. It was not about that. So it has evolved. As I kept learning, I have started to just show up in different ways, trying to eventually be, you know, comfortable. Trying to be comfortable eventually and just, yeah, show up very much me and feel like it's not a mountain. As in Dab. When creating feels like a mountain, like you are climbing a mountain, it's, it's not going to be easy to create. It's just going to be hard and tiring, especially for someone like myself that, you know, finds it hard already to show up consistently. Manje, on top of that, I must be climbing a mountain. <laughs> I must be uh, doing things that are so out of so out of character for me that I so I can't be doing that. That's that, mm. <laughs> if I can find a, a a a place or space in content creation where I could just be me and showcase things that I I do already and talk about things that are I, I really that I really am experiencing as a person, uh, real feelings. Where it's not hard. It's just sharing life. That's not hard, right? So that space, honestly, on, I'm only reaching that space now. Like, I don't feel like it has been a long time, like me reaching that really relaxed space. I, on my vlogs, vlogs, vlogs have definitely helped me to reach, you know, this space. Because here, yeah, from when I started creating vlogs, I feel like I started show, showing up as myself a bit more and creating vlogs i never knew that i love creating video content editing putting it together i never knew that until i started creating vlogs i was like this is nice <laughs> this this is this is fun this it's nice like i i enjoy like i seriously enjoy creating vlogs so much it's relaxing i feel like Man, I feel like if I didn't have, if I didn't create vlogs, I feel like I would not have had the amount of fun online. I, I feel like I have fun online because of the vlogs I create. I have a space where I can share what I'm thinking, share things that actually matter to me right now, especially as it relates to my discipline journey and just my business life. I have people to talk to about this stuff. Very much therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> very much therapeutic and i love it and it doesn't even bother me that not a lot of people are going to watch the content just knowing that one or two people are going to show up and watch my content it's very relaxing it's like it's very therapeutic and for some reason you guys have been very nice it's weird man online space is so weird you find people being nice people you have never met before and low-key, this has helped me love people even more. The fact that someone can come across your video, they've never met you in their life, but just fall in love with you, just love you. And it's crazy because this happens with me as well. Like the content creators that I watch, yes, when they don't post, when they don't post a vlog or a video, I miss them. Like I miss them. When one of my favorite creators is 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 MIA disappeared, I wonder like I want I wonder if they're okay. Like they <laughs> crazy. How is I the internet is a crazy thing. You connect with someone that you have never ever met in your life and you just feel like I like that person. I just like, I don't even have to meet them one day. I just like them. Just seeing them in my screens. Social media is crazy. Nonetheless, I love creating. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Okay, but 
yes the fact that it's been three years and i'm not yet making money yeah sure that is not that's not cool i don't think it's cool at all but i really do appreciate the fact that all of this has been very nice love it so i think my love for creating you know video content like for creating vlogs it has kept me going up till this point i really feel like if i didn't love creating vlogs i would have stopped with youtube a long time ago because i would have felt that it's a waste of my time and not even just a waste of my time because another thing is i pay for um my my music i have an epidemic sound subscription so that's money just leaving my bank account every month do you understand <laughs> do you understand that if you think about it logically why are you you're losing this money for what for for what for what for what you know you're not making money so that you don't have to lose money in jail you get what i mean but so far it's because i've been enjoying it and i feel like i want to uh, because i enjoy this so much but honestly i don't know how long i'm gonna keep going um i don't know how long i'm gonna keep going because i might at a point have to rethink <laughs> rethink this losing money because enjoyment every month but for now for now it's okay for now it's okay it's okay let's chill for now i'll let you know when something changes for now okay sure sure <laughs> okay <laughs> all right and what else so basically because i have been gradually learning and unlearning things and uh, how to do things um right up till this point i'm not mad i'm not mad at the the, the less than 300 subscribers i'm, I'm not mad because um i was not sure i'm only becoming sure now of the type of content that i want to continue sharing here otherwise it's just been a trial trial and let's just keep going not sure of what i want to share what i don't want to share it has been that so having a large audience kind of puts even more pressure because you feel like so many people have decided to to be here now give them content and next thing you're giving people content that tomorrow you're going to be like what well, did i have to do that what did i have to say that did i have now you have this you <laughs> you have posted things that you, you are regretting because you've been feeling so much pressure because there's a there's an audience waiting for you to um to upload video content and it's a large audience do you understand not that i'm saying the the small audience that i have is not important and i shouldn't put a lot of it but the pressure is not much it's not as much when you have a really large audience you like you push yourself to creating push yourself to showing up way more Sometimes you should, you, I shouldn't have put that one, it was not necessary. So I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. That's, that's actually the third point here. Having a large audience, you know, weighs on you a bit more than having a smaller audience. Right. So I am happy that I don't have that much of an audience here. I feel very much at ease um, right now. And I'm happy that right now, I feel like I have come to, you know, a point where I know the kind of content that I want to put out. I'm not I'm not hesitating and, and thinking and thinking and thinking. Of which next vlog we're going to talk, we're going to talk about this. Um, I've actually already created the vlog, but I was waiting to first create this and post this because I said... I want to keep my word of posting a vlog, a sit down, a vlog, a sit down. Okay, so anyway, yeah, um, I have made up my mind about what I want to do here and how I want to do it. So I was unsure until after I posted my, my first sit down video. Manje, I know. Diaz 
Okay. <laughs> anyway, yes. Thank you guys so much for deciding to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed this mini sit down um, video with myself. Um, I hope you did enjoy. Please do consider subscribing, liking, share your comments with me down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Vlog. Vlog. That's what's next.